We're loaded and ready. <laughs> Making our way to the marina. I don't know if it's actually videotaping now or not. Uh, I saw the countdown in the beginning. So. Oh, okay. Well, the count up. So. Do you see? Can you see uh, the uh, picture on the screen? Yes. In, yeah, is, the red lights at the top. And, and you see the picture of what yeah. we're seeing. Oh, okay, so it's counting. All right. Cool. Record the last part of that phrase when you tell it to start. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. GoPro, stop. Look, Dalton. <laughs> Leaving the marina. It's a nice, beautiful day here in North Carolina. My cart's pretty efficient, I gotta say. Packed very well. No, they leave them, uh, hikers will leave it for anybody that's next to pick up. Yeah, we've had a few done like that. Well, yeah, take it if it's, uh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, hikers will do that. They'll make one and leave it. <laughs> Here we are, Hazel Creek Trail, September 27th, 2018. We've got Special Starring guest, Dalton special Wade. guest Dalton Wade. We also have leading up the uh, trail back there. We have Tyrese and Paul Simmons, kind of dressed like Indiana Jones. So pretty excited. We just got off the boat, which was uh, amazing. They were able to drop us right at the trail instead of having to do the muddy climb. So they're calling for rain every day. We're here, so it should be a nice wet visit but we're hoping that we can get some fishing in and a little exploring so we'll have more to come later so we're at the first hazel creek crossing water looks beautiful you can smell trout ty and paul are over there reading about proctor and getting a lay of the land it was a railroad depot right there uh, part of the ruins are still there and the cafe was right here where uh, I guess where this little barn is. It was a boarding house, a Baptist church. Interesting little town that disappeared in the uh, 20s and 30s, I guess. Dalton's already found a stick, so he has uh, become the intrepid explorer. Just made it to our campsite. Here come the fellers. <laughs> home sweet home. Got a nice fire ring. The old tree. We're all staking out some ground to camp on. I got my sweet spot right here, I believe. Looks like the perfect spot. I'm gonna find out. Action cam. How's it going, fellas? How was it after that hike? Indiana Jones. Jazz hands. He's got it, jazz hands. I love it. <laughs> All right, everybody gets to stake out a spot. Dalton. Dalton said he's gonna carve a. He's found a spot. He's gonna build a cabin over there. First, I'm gonna steal your tent. First, he's gonna steal my tent. That's right. It's probably three o'clock. Got our camp set up. There's the sweet hammock hammock. Ty decided he want to sleep with us. He's sleeping way over there. We got uh, Paul set up here in the old Hennessy. And Dalton's out in the middle of the open in his uh, the tent hall over there. So it's raining a little bit. We're just kind of waiting it out. We're gonna wait till the water gets really high before we go out there and fish. Morning one. We survived. Didn't get uh, crazy wet, didn't get cold. Water came up and then come down a little bit. So it was a good night. 
Got our little tent shelter we've built. Ty decided to just tear through his stuff like a wild animal. And uh, seriously, he really did that. And yeah, we'll do a little tour of the camp. Got Paul over here working on his big tent. Gig gigantic tarp, it's awesome. It's called the Noah's tarp. I think I may need to have one of those, not sure. Paul, you got any words you'd like to share with the YouTube audience? Hey. <laughs> Insightful as always. <laughs> Let's go see what Dalton's doing. <laughs> Is he wearing pants? That's the important thing. <laughs> uh, yes and no. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> All right. That's weird. <laughs> okay. So here we are. Here comes Ty in his sexy outfit. You probably can't make him out. But uh, yeah, here we are. This year's camp awesome. So more for later. Hiking up to uh, Bone Valley today. That's the plan. The guys yesterday, we walked up there to uh, Brown Hole and passed the waters up quite a bit. We walked up past it, rained all day, so. On the way back, Ty and Paul were stopped uh, getting some water in the spring and a bear walked across the trail about 10 yards behind them, they said. I guess they'd spooked it up from the creek, but uh, I was still past that. I was up at the uh, bathtub hole, had no idea, I mean, it was pouring the rain so I came back I was soaked they were all sitting around underneath the the uh, little tarp that we have and relaxing I come in like a wet rat but you can see the water's up quite a bit Dalton went ahead this morning he's up here getting some water ready for our trip today we're going up to Bone Valley we're gonna go up Bone Valley Creek and hopefully make it as far as the cabin um, I guess we've never I've never seen the cabin so it's supposed to be two miles if uh, you see video of the cabin, then you'll know that we made it that far. Hopefully we will. Hey, Paul, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> There's our wet crossing. There's the boys. All wet. All wet. No socks. He's going to get in trouble. Blister feet. I'm videotaping you just in case. Yeah, I said videotape. We haven't seen videotape in 20 years, but yeah, it's funny that we still say videotape. We just made it to the cabin up Bone Valley. It's two miles up the uh, trail. Dalton and I tracked ahead of the guys. Never seen this cabin before. Got a little place to tie the horses up. And then a trail that you can't take a horse on, which is kind of weird and a cabin. Let's see what the sign says. 1880, wow. Hall Crest, Hall Crest Cabin, built about 1880. Interesting. The door's wide open, so you know what that means. It's an international sign for go on in. The ADT alarm goes off. Yeah, I can see that uh, they probably would have had a hard time keeping this place heated. Yeah, with the mud all washed out of it, I would yeah. say you're right. And that's kind of rotted, so the stairs may be sketchy. Just that one side, though. Should be okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just use one leg when you're going. It's on. just slightly sketchy. Seems fairly solid. I don't like the back door is just an invitation for bears to walk around. Okay. That's kind of. 
kind of cool. What else is up there? Just a, a big open space. I'm going to come back down and let you get up here. I don't think more than one person. Don't need to stress it. Go ahead. Dalton's going to go check it out. Give it the tenderfoot before you step on stuff. That's a... Cool. Built in the 1880s. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. Poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food and up through the ground come a bubbling crew. Check out the feather. Is that a hawk? Walking back out of the uh, our place. Oh, I found a Dalton. <laughs> Go check out the uh, hearth on the other side. It's on the back side. There are doors on the fireplace on this side. This is the old cabin. Interesting joinery. Tough to live this way, I would think. Pretty tough. But I'd rather have a cabin than a tent. Absolutely. Paul, was it worth the hike? Absolutely. It's beautiful. <laughs> what do you think, Ty? Absolutely. I'm going to go home and look that word up. That is awesome. It means, it means good. It means good. See? Why can't you just say good? Why can't you just say good? Superlative. He's playing words with friends over here. Exquisite. It's exquisite. I am disinclined to acquiesce to your requests. <laughs> I love that. I always forget to say that. That's my favorite. So we're just off of the uh, cabin. Saw this kind of a cool thing. Not quite sure what it is, but there it is. Patton May 10th. Can't tell if that's a nine or an eight. 1841. Can't tell. Ty decided to uh, fish right here. And get hung up in the trees. He's already caught a little uh, rainbow trout out of this. Dalton's already taken the trail back, and Paul's down the way a little bit fishing. So far, so good today. Okay, so it's time for a quick update. Um, we are on Bone Valley, Bone Valley Trail. You can see there. There. And the creek is down there. It's pretty far down there. Um, I just came up a hill. Anyway, um, we decided this morning, we're staying at Sawdust Pile, and we decided that we would hike up to uh, Bone Valley and maybe hike up and see the cabin, which we did. So, the cabin's pretty cool. It's about two miles uh, up there. If the water is at all raised, the water level's at all raised, plan on making about five or six wet crossings. And some of those mid thigh deep, so it can be a little sketchy. But uh, we made it up. The cabin's pretty cool. Uh, you've probably already seen the video of that. Um, anyway, built around the 1880s, and there's another foundation for another house that was there. So we decided we would uh, kind of walk up. We fished a little bit on the way up, not much, more about going to see the cabin. And uh, coming back, we've popped in a couple places. I'm separated from the guys now. I don't know if they're above me or below me. My guess is they're probably above me still fishing. I kind of, I jump in, fish a little bit and jump out because I'm I'm really just here to see the scenery and do a little fishing. But uh, anyway, I caught three uh, little fish, maybe five or six inches, all rainbows. Uh, nothing to speak of, but it's kind of fun to feel a little tug I'm using the green weenie. So uh, green weenie is the uh, 
That is the lure of choice today. Back down here where the water level is a little better, but you can see Bone Valley Creek is a pretty good size today. It's normally not nearly this big, but uh, it's quite substantial today, I guess, the runoff. We uh, have had clear skies all day. It looks like it's clouding up a bit, but uh, it's been fairly clear. It stopped raining sometime during the overnight um, this morning at five or so when I first woke up I think that it was it stopped raining completely so this is just runoff from all that rain that we had yesterday it rained most of the afternoon and night so I'm hoping that tomorrow is a much better fishing day if we can get uh, Hazel Creek to lower a little bit we'll be in a little better condition where we won't be uh, such white water but anyway hoping to catch a few fish I've got my fingers crossed that Ty and Paul will bring home dinner tonight because I don't suspect that it's gonna be me and I know Dalton would love to have some uh, trout that he can chef us. So anyway, there'll be more later. Just a little quick uh, update. I am up to 15 fish, which is fantastic. I got uh, 14 rainbows and one brown. And I've got four keepers that we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So that should be fun. I don't know where the guys are. I guess I saw them a while ago, but uh, I got in, I had an interesting uh, slip and fall and uh, water down the waders, which is always exhilarating. That's what it is. And uh, so anyway, I'm kind of making my way back toward camp now. It's, it's a two mile hike back to camp and the sun's getting, well, not low in the sky, but it's definitely crossed over. So it's in the afternoon sometime, not exactly sure when. And I'm at another one of the crossings just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. This is the Bone Valley Trail leading up to the Hazel Creek Trail. I think this is the final wet, it is, the final wet crossing that we've got before we are uh, back to Hazel's Trail. So it's not too much further until I hit Hazel and then it's a two mile hike out. So anyway. Uh, more to come a little bit later if I make it through this without getting drowned. It's morning too. Ty's already gone up to go fish and we are just getting ready. Dalton says hi. Dalton's kind of hanging out here a little bit. We're going to go and hike down a little ways and spot some fishing spots and then maybe hike back up. We hung the hammock so I fully expect Dalton to be asleep in it when we get back. I don't blame him. I would be too. I'm kind of thinking about it myself. You're going to do what? He's taking some accessories. He's accessorizing. Dalton's got uh, his shoes. He's going to dry those out as soon as we get the fire going. Hopefully. But we got a professional car stick. It's got a handle in it. Don't know how far that's going to go, but can't wait to see it. Okay, this little video will give you some idea of what we're looking at. Hazel Creek. It's a little waterfall ripple up here. You can see this water right in front of me is probably over my head. But you can see the drainage coming down over here in the rock behind. It's filtering in there, coming down off the top of the mountain. And behind me, it's making its way on down. I'm just uh, maybe 40 or 50 yards past our campsite. I got in the water here and thought I'd see if I could have any luck. I did have one fish come up and take a bite at my uh, float. You can see it, it's orange. That's my uh, strike indicator, but no luck on, on trout. We had plenty of trout last night for dinner, so I'm hoping to catch a few more for tonight. So we'll see, more to come later. So it's the uh, end of day three, Saturday which is essentially the end of our fishing trip. You'll notice I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing yesterday. It's because I changed clothes, because I decided to wet leg it, which is a great idea. It's uh, water's kind of cold, brisk, but uh, you know what? It's 75 degrees probably during the day uh, here, and it's perfect, it's fine. I mean, the water's a little cool, but you get in there up to your waist or whatever, and it's nice and uh, cool, feels good. I, uh, I'd recommend that. Had a decent day fishing today. I, we hiked around a little bit, went down to Proctor or down toward Proctor. We're gonna look around, but 
ended up going not going all the way down there the water just kind of scouting the water out the water looks uh, was a little high and uh, looked like it'd be a little treacherous to kind of get in so came back to camp and I uh, was whittling a couple of hearts for my sweetie hi Heather and uh, decided that uh, after a little while that I'd take a break and go fishing so came up and wet legged it so uh, the outcome I caught five fish two of which uh, I kept for dinner tonight and the downside is I lost my fly box yeah one of my zippers in this cool new fish pond vest was apparently open and uh, I looked down to switch flies and my box was gone and when I say my fly box was gone I mean my $30 fly box with probably $60 the flies in it so it was a pretty big loss so I'm kind of bummed about that but uh, I'm hoping that uh, I get down here and Dalton has been in the creek and said hey I found a fly box uh, it was funny the first day we, we got here uh, Dalton <laughs> Ty had already been down to the creek and Dalton came up I was setting up my uh, tent Dalton came in and said, I don't know if you like beer but I just hit the jackpot found a bunch of beer and basically it was Ty's beer that Dalton had found <laughs> uh, so that was kind of funny so I'm hoping that Dalton found my fly box but if he didn't you know what they make more fly boxes and uh, that'll keep Orvis in business but anyway that's the rundown on today hopefully we'll have some more information um, later we'll have a great big fire and it'll be a lot of fun so anyway uh, more to come later Bye. your hair is sexy so Ty's ready to go he's got all his stuff in his pack Dalton looks like a pregnant uh, <laughs> Scotsman. And, <laughs> and, all right, we got our we got our stuff all packed up. Look here, that's I'm telling you, we packed light. Look at Dalton. Wow, looks like he's packed a midget in there. <laughs> and mine is the cart. Every time I turn around, they were adding stuff to my cart. So that's how that goes. All right, we're off, fellas. All right, remember all the cool things we say when we're just getting back to the boat. Hazel Creek trip. Yeah. 2018 is in the history book. What? <laughs> what kind of sticker? Yeah. How about they sell them with that uh, marina? Buy them. Any words of advice, Tom? Live long and prosper. <laughs> Carry lots of heavy stuff. Bring a cast iron skillet next year, right? <laughs>